What's up? What's up? What's up, man? It's your boy Big Meal on the track, man. And today I'm covering uh, using MIDI files in FL Studio or MPC. Um, you see these little MIDI files all over the internet. Everybody's selling some. Uh, and you might think, you know, dragging and driving it or whatever. You might feel like you're cheating or whatever, you know, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do, you know what I'm saying, to make that your own you know what i'm saying it's just all a part of a creative process you know what i'm saying um and i'm just gonna grab a random one uh, i just woke up and uh i haven't really went through them um but i got some from from uh producer grind here and i'm just gonna uh drag a random one into this plugin here fabric xl and i don't know why it is not working Okay, maybe we gotta bring up the piano roll. My bad, y'all. Let's see. Usually you could just drag it in there. All right, there we go. All right. Let me get this uh, piano roll on the screen so y'all can see that. Sorry, I use three monitors, so sometimes they pull up where I don't want them at. Um, let me change the sound here. We're just gonna use a little piano on this uh, MIDI file. So here it is. Uh, this this is just dragging and dropping it. You know that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You can make something around that. You can change the tempo. It already sounds kind of different, you know. Um, you could change the you could change the tempo. You can go in there and you can transpose it, you know. Raise it up a couple of octaves. I mean notes. Um, All right, you can do all that, you know what I'm saying? You can change the sound, you know, you can use many different VSTs, whatever VSTs you want to go with it. So, you know, you can have this same MIDI file, somebody else can have the same MIDI file, and y'all, you know, y'all stuff will sound completely different. Um, let's see, let me just use a little guitar on there just to see. Same file. But um, this is what's what's really cool about um using MIDI files, or not n not necessarily cool, but this is another tip that you could use to kind of uh change up how you do how you work with these MIDI files. Okay, in FL Studio, you can right click up here, do a quick render as an auto audio clip. <clears throat> And now you have, let me bring that down. And now you have the audio file you just made. You might just normalize it. But uh, yeah, once you render it out, either you can, let's see, let me pull it up. Either you can drag this in the fruity slicer or slice eggs, whichever one you prefer. Um. Wherever you find a, <laughs> where it saved that on your computer, you could drag it in the Fruity Slicer if that's what you use. Or you could drag it into the MPC, and now it's, now it's on my pad. And from there, you can sample it just like you would do any other loop, you know what I'm saying?
So what we do is we normalize it, bring that volume up. Usually they on beat. You can either manually chop it. I use BPMs when I know, uh, you know, the sample or loop that I'm using is pretty much on the grid. This one's not really on the grid like that. Not where I would want it at. So you can always just lazy chop. So there you go. It's a little off, you know what I'm saying? Use a little Q links or whatever. Just doing a little example, nothing, you know, uh, nothing really great, but it's, it's as simple as that. Um, I just say this, uh, I, I used to be that dude. Um, I used to always say, oh, I, I have to play everything. Out. I have to play everything out. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that helped me because I'm really good at making my own melodies, but using loops, uh, samples, MIDI files. Those aren't cheating. That's, that's a part of hip hop, man. Uh, you know, they've been sampling since hip hop started. That's what started hip hop. Uh, so the tip is use all the tools at, at, at your disposal. You know what I'm saying? However you do it. Me personally, I like to take stuff like that, a loop or a sample and uh, making my own build around it. You know what I'm saying? I know some people like to just lay it out there, put a filter on it, put some drums on it and they, they done. And that's cool too, you know what I'm saying? But just don't be afraid to use all the tools at your disposal. Like once I got out got out of my own head about that, my production level has grown tremendously. Uh using all the tools at your disposal and uh getting around other producers, collabing with other producers, you know what I'm saying? You know, getting a studio, you know, talk with them, you know what I'm saying? Bounce off their ideas, you know what I'm saying? Learn from them, you know what I'm saying? You might have some stuff that you could teach them too, you know what I'm saying? But MIDI packs are dope, man. Don't 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 write them off because these notes in here, you can take this and you can do whatever with it. You could just use whatever the person did who who made the MIDI pack and you could take it to a, a whole nother level. You can if you don't like the little high notes on it, you can cut them bitches out. You could take the bass notes out of there and slap it on the 808 or like a low piano or something like that. Uh, it's all dope, man. Um, just stay creative, man. You know, let 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 your mind just just go. Whenever you're working with these things, man. Uh, Anyways, man, uh, it's your boy Mill. I'm trying to get good at these YouTube videos. I'm trying to get good at these little tips and beat making videos and stuff. So y'all, <laughs> y'all work with me, man. I'm trying, man. <laughs> uh, I might cut that. <laughs> Anyways, man, uh, it's been your boy Mill, man. Uh, probably crank out some beats today, man. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.